as you can see, I am not in one of my vehicles and I'm not in one of them because I am borrowing this FL5 uh, 2023 Honda Civic Type R in Boost Blue Pearl. I've never actually been in a FL5 or driven one. So this is a first for me. And I thought it's probably somewhat of a unique perspective going from an Integra Type S to the Civic Type R back to back. Um, obviously, as most of you know, I do have a Tiger Eye um, Integra Type S that I bought brand new. And right now I have this. So because I've never been in it, I think my impressions are going to be fairly raw and able to, I guess, give a good comparison in a way to the Integra Type S since I have so much seat time with that. So let's, um, let's go for a quick drive. cluster which I really like I like this setup a lot I love seeing the tachometer on the top which we'll get close to red line here in a second you can see how the shift lights work um, obviously no head-up display so you do have to look down to see this but I really like how big and bold everything is we'll also be able to see how this car does over bumps remember the Integra Type S the suspension's uh, it's tuned differently. It's it's definitely tuned for street and canyon driving versus of the track. So I'm assuming that this is going to be more harsh than the Integra Type S. Take a look at the camera resolution and see if it's any better or worse. No, it's exactly the same. 
The resolution's pretty low, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, from an interior perspective, I really like the Alcantara. Um, the Integra Type S has a lot of the uh, similar touch points. Um, the LED is red, which is nice. Uh, the Integra Type S, it's not adjustable, but I know people have been swapping out the LEDs um, for some different colors inside their Integra Type S. The seats are both uh, manual, right? So with that said, the fabric feels really high quality and obviously the seats are extremely bolstered. And in the back, we have black seats with red stitching, very similar to the Integra Type S. Um, similar layout up here instead of the individual mode here you have the plus r mode and then your drive modes here are uh going through well let's find out okay so drive modes we have individual sport and comfort and then here we can go into plus R so this is where we customize the individual and we have what gauge rev match engine sound suspension steering so interesting setup obviously I didn't set this up uh, looking at the gauge cluster here scrolling through some of the menus kind of interesting to see the difference so we only have plus R. What can we hide and show? Oh, all of this stuff here. That's interesting. So we'll go back, back. So that is all the content that you can scroll through on this side, which is customizable, which is nice. And then over here, this is just our audio sources. Um, when we're driving, this area shows what gear you're in, and then obviously, you know, you can see your miles per hour there. So no head-up display in this, but it does have a really wide layout, which is beneficial if you're out on the track. Um, the data logging feature on here is pretty cool. So you can cycle through, You can cycle through these graphics, which is really nice, um, especially just to see, just to have all this data at your fingertips and be able to glance over at it when you need to. And obviously there's different styles to whatever fits you best. Um, the layout, a little bit different with having the mesh go all the way across here, but of course it's nice to have it numbered. And steering wheel layout's almost identical. So are the buttons over here. Um, you know, obviously you got your brightness here. So the layout's really similar. Uh, not much difference there, except the Integra Type S probably has um, more tech and more features uh, that this car does not. Again, no, no heated seats. So. All right, there's a million comparison videos out there. So I'm gonna try not to make this the same as all of those and more just the driving experience of the car on a daily driven aspect. Um, the color is gorgeous. This is the color I'd always want if I ever got a Civic Type R. I really love the 19 inch wheels. They're great. I think they look great. Something that stood out to me is the build quality. This is still built in Japan I and mean, it's noticeable. I think a lot of the cars that have been built in Japan, uh, you do notice a difference. They're quieter, the fit and finish, etc. Not to say that anything is wrong or bad with the Integra Type S by any means, but it is noticeably tighter on that. Now, with that said, the car feels heavier. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. The steering feels heavier. Um, on a daily driven basis, I probably would rather be in the Integra Type S. But that makes sense, right? Because these are two different cars. They were made purposely to be different cars. One is made for the track and one is made for daily driving and canyons and having spirited fun driving the car. This is the ultimate Civic. And I am super fortunate to Tonkin Gresham Honda and the management to letting me borrow this. It's given me a really good perspective and really helps me understand the differences between the two cars. So with that said, with that said, between the two cars, you can't really go wrong, depending on whatever you're looking for. The gearboxes are phenomenal. 
The seats feel great even though they are manual and not electric. I do find myself enjoying the creature comforts maybe a little bit more than I used to when I was younger. But yeah, let's do a quick walk around of the exterior and wrap this baby up. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.